Hey everyone, welcome to Ms. Vela's day number 10 online learning instructional video. Thank you for watching all my videos prior and really trying, trying to follow through on all of the tasks. Today is our 10th day of online learning and I hope you had a great three day weekend. Friday was Cesar Chavez holiday, so we would have had that day off if we had school at school. So I decided not to give you any work on Friday. So I really hope that you had a really good three days off. And uh, we have one more week and then we have spring break. Okay, so a couple of announcements just like we do in class. Um, we have one more week. We have spring break next week and you have one week off. So I will not be giving you any work next week. And we are supposed to report back to school on May 4th. Okay, May 4th. So I hope to see all of you on May 4th. So we have a little bit over a month left of this online learning, um, online learning activities. And I hope that you guys are getting a lot more comfortable doing online learning. I know a lot of you are really eager to come back to school and see your friends. And I really hope that that happens, but we will definitely keep you updated if anything changes okay so hang in there um just continue to do the best you can we are being very flexible with grading and with deadlines so please try not to stress because when you stress out then you it's not good for you okay it's not good for your body it's not good for your brain so try to relax do the best you can and definitely take breaks throughout the day um so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what you're doing today and some of the activities. Um, so if you are watching this video, congratulations, you're doing number one of the five things that I want you guys to, to work on. Um, number two, you're going to be completing a grammar pre-assessment on quill.org. This week our focus is on grammar. Okay, so you're going to go to quill.org. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute and you're going to do a pre-assessment and it's basically just a it's a test that is not really going to be part of your grade it's more of a test to see how much grammar you know so that way when i assign activities this week um i'm assigning you activities that are appropriate for your level of grammar knowledge okay so um everyone's going to have some different things to do this week and um so i but i need you guys to do this pre-assessment number three you are going to update your google site with journaling on the following topic write a paragraph explaining what you did this past weekend be thorough and clear by elaborating on various events and providing details so i will show you my website. I did upload my website here. Um, you just have to make sure you guys sign in and um, that way you can see what I wrote to get an idea. Okay. Um, number four, you're going to log into newzella.com and read an article of your choice. Okay. Choose any article you want to read. This is really reading for pleasure. Um, so the close reading, the quizzes, the writing, those are all optional. You are welcome to do those. But um, I really want you to just read for the sake of reading, okay? And you can choose anything you want to read. If you want to read about the news and what's going on out there with COVID-19, fine. If you want to read about animals, that's great. If you want to read about art or history or science, it's totally up to you. You get to choose anything that you want to read, uh, that you want to read about, okay? And then finally, number five, once you have done all of these activities, um, if you can please open this assignment and then mark it as done, that way tomorrow it doesn't show it as missing, okay? So you do need to mark each day as done when, you're, when you are done, okay? And um, I have finished grading the um, day five Google document. Um, which asked you, I had some questions, uh, it was like a mental check, mental health check-in. And then you also told me at the bottom which Newzella article you wanted me to grade. So I went ahead and did that. 
And this week, I'm going to be looking at your websites, okay? I am grading to see that you are writing every day, okay? And again, if you have questions about the work, you need help, please reach out to your friends, reach out to your parents, and reach out to your teachers, okay? And if um, you know the lot, and if you're really try to help yourself first, really try to see like, okay, how can I do this on my own? Try to really help yourself first, and then go to your parents because they're the next thing, they're the next person there with you. Then you can reach out to your friends because they're they might be able to be more available or helpful. Um, and then reach out to your teachers. Okay, so just like in class where I say, ask other people before you ask me kind of the same thing try to reach out to others before us because the you know we we do have um 185 students um and if all of you are emailing us about everything it's going to be a lot harder and a lot more challenging to get to everyone okay so try to help yourself first if not ask mom or dad if not ask a friend and then come to us if you need help okay and Let's go ahead and take a look at what you're doing today. So um, number two, you're going to complete the pre-assessment. So you're going to open up quill.org. And this is what the website looks like when you first go to quill.org. And you don't need to sign up because I already have you part of my classroom or a part of my account. So you are actually going to log in. When you log in, you're going to log in with Google. Make sure you select your ERUSD account and not another account or it's not going to work, okay? So you've got to make sure you're logged into your El Rancho account. You're going to allow Quill to access your Google account. And you're going to click on my class. So this is period one, but yours is going to say period, whatever period you have me. And then you're going to have this activity and every day you're going to have a new activity to do. Okay. So the first activity is called starter diagnostic. And basically it is, like I said, a, a test to see um, where you are in grammar. Okay. So like how much you already know or don't know. And so um, I selected the, I guess, most basic assessment because, sorry, because um, we've never used this website before. So I just want to kind of see what you know, what you don't know. I've already started this as a student. So yours should say start. Mine's going to say resume. So you're going to go ahead and open that. It's going to give you some information about what's coming up. So it should say um, you're about to answer 25 questions on writing sentences. Some of the questions might be about things you haven't learned yet, and that's okay. Just answer them as best you can. Don't forget to read the instructions carefully for each question. Once you're finished, Quill will create a learning plan just for you. Okay, so again, yours should say start. Mine says resume. Okay, I'm on question two. You're going to be on question one, but just to let you know, you do have to type in your answer. Okay, so this one says... New Year's Day is a holiday blank January, so you would choose one, on, in, at, or to. And then you're going to type in your answer, okay? I'm not going to give you the answer. You're going to type it in yourself, and then you're going to click submit. If you um, get stuck, I believe, let's see, oh, this is just information. It just says fill in the blank with one of the words, so you actually have to type, okay? When you click submit, it's gonna take you to the next question, okay? If for some reason something happens and you're like, oh my God, I can't finish my test, I have to go eat or I have to do this or that, um, then you can always save and exit, just click okay, and then you can finish it later, okay? But that is your assignment for today with grammar is just taking this test, okay? After that, you're gonna go to your Google site. Okay, so you're gonna log into your Google website. I'm just gonna show you my website. I want you to look at my website as well because it has some ideas on what you can write. So I've been writing every day, every day since I assigned it, but only on school days. So I'm not writing on the weekends. You're welcome to write on the weekends too, but here's my March 30th entry. So go ahead and you can read that to yourself and take a look at what I did this weekend. And um, 
again, just take a look at my pages. If some of you can continue to send me pictures of yourself working, that would be great. I only have a few and I want to, I want as many as possible. Some of you are also sending me pictures of your artwork. So anything, if it's a picture of you working a picture of some drawings or art that you've done, maybe you've been writing some poetry, send me those pictures. I want to have a page of just you guys. Um, dedicated to you. And so if you guys can send me those, that would be great. And then of course, my feelings, my, my feelings page in office gifs, gifs, whatever. So every day I'm posting a new gif from the office because that's one of my favorite shows. And yeah, so anyway, so here's my page, update your page. This week I am going to be looking at your website to kind of see, I want to see your writing. I want to, really the writing is the most important thing um, because I want to see what you guys are doing, how you're feeling, and if there's anything that I need to do, um, you know, to, to better support you. Um, let's see, what's the next thing? Oh, and then just log into Newzella and take a look at all the different news going on, choose something that you want to read. It could be about COVID-19 or it could be about something else. You can do a search if you like, um, search a topic. There's all these different uh, topics over here and up here and you're free to read as much as you want. Again, we're reading for pleasure. So you get to choose what you want to read. Okay. I know a lot of you are like, I, have been playing video games, um, you know, every day to after I do my homework. All right, if you want to read about video games, then look up video games. There's all sorts of articles about video games, and you know, choose something that you enjoy, a hobby, and read about it. And um, yeah, so that's it for that. Um, and that's it. And then just mark this as done. Okay, I want to make sure that. The assignments I'm giving you every day do not exceed our 51 minute instructional period. So normally we're in class for 51 minutes um, and I'm trying to give you work that would take up 51 minutes or less. Okay, I'm trying not to go above that. And I'm definitely not giving you additional homework like I would during a regular school day. So um, yeah, okay, if you find yourself spending more time on my work, than you normally would, then maybe I'm giving you too much or maybe you're taking too long or maybe you're getting too distracted, I don't know. But definitely go at your own pace. If you need more time, take as much time as you need, um, but try to stay focused on task and take a break. After you work on one class, take a break like you normally would at school. You know, normally you have a four minute passing break, give yourself five minutes, okay? Five minutes to just like, Go get water, go to the bathroom, and then come back and continue with your next class or however you want to do it, right? You guys are creating your own schedule. That's kind of the cool thing about online learning. You get to create your own schedule. So create your own schedule that works for you and just make sure that you take care of business though, okay? That's kind of like working from home. I'm sure your parents who are working from home, you know, they have their own schedule that they have to follow, but they still have to work, right? So same thing, you guys are working from home and you have your own schedule that you are creating and following and just make sure you get your work done that's why my deadlines are midnight every day because some of you work better at night some of you work better in the morning so i'm not saying you have to work between eight and three if you are more of a night person and you get things done better at night then work at night okay so do what works for you don't stress out, relax. It's all, we're all good. Be healthy, be safe, be smart. And if you have any questions or you need help, reach out to us. All right. Have a good Monday. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.